and it's Monday morning in sunny Bris Vegas, as we like to call Brisbane. Welcome to Love Risk, love, life done with love, respect, integrity, safety and kindness. I've just popped into our Facebook group and I realised I haven't done that for a number of weeks now and I've really been trying to work out why I couldn't get back on camera now part of it was because of all the bullying but what I didn't understand was that it actually triggered this slow drip of depression back into my life uh, and the reason why you can't always see the depression is because you're still going on about your daily routine it might only be at a basic level you know sleeping eating work etc but I realized for me on Saturday afternoon when I'm sitting at home and truly it's one of the most joyous times of my life because I'm in the process of finalizing everything to publish my first soul manual and I'm sitting there and I'm bawling my eyes out and I'm like what the heck is going on you know this is just nuts I shouldn't be feeling this way so anyhow I sat down and had a really good think and, and, I, and the tiredness too will come so I kept being tired even though I'm still going to gym, gym was doing well, keto's going well, keto way of eating, ketogenics, um, everything was going really, really well. But I'm sitting there crying. Um, the, one of the things I did notice was that I wasn't able to do anything other than simple cooking. Well, it was good cooking, it was just, I couldn't bring myself to make anything different. And I kept thinking, what's wrong, you know? Anyhow, after I sat there crying and everything, I'm like, this is nuts. I need to know what's going on. And then all of a sudden I realised, ever since the um, bullying and shaming had happened on YouTube, I've been feeling really blah inside myself. Now, I went, oh, it's depression again. And I'm like, I just... I mean, it sounds really awful, but you feel like smacking your head against, well, I'm in the car, the steering wheel and going, why? Why when I understand it all? Why when it's all logical, I've addressed the issue, why am I still going downhill? And so I've been really putting some time aside in the last couple of days to let everything come to me to understand it. Now, if you've been abused as a child this may very well be happening for you shame is a very big part of childhood sexual abuse okay and shame is something that it's really hard to put our finger on as well because we know as an adult we're not ashamed of who we are you know I am who I am but what happens is from our childhood it comes forward till we can address it as an adult now what I've found happening is is it triggers the brain so consciously day-to-day -day life I'm great okay but what it does is trigger in the brain uh, a deep fear of not belonging and that's actually the what do you call it? sorry my thought just went right out the window <laughs> That's actually the definition of shame, is the fear of not belonging. And the trouble with that sort of fear is that it's so deep inside us that until we strip away the layers and, and we're strong enough to own it, we can't actually feel it. So I've been sitting on the bike at the gym and going, okay, heal, <laughs> I need to heal from this and breathing in more and getting rid of the toxic energy and understanding I don't need to feel that way anymore and the good thing is now I know that once I recognize the depression I can go oh for goodness sake just take a back seat will you that's not who I am because I know who I am now it really is a chemical reaction from the trigger from the past and it really is something that we deal with one layer at a time one layer as we're capable of now one thing that I actually thought of this morning too was anxiety is something that covers the depression okay 
So it's like we can get the depression, but the anxiety is our way of trying not to feel it, of trying not to deal with it. And it's not that we don't want to deal with it, it's just that it's so deep we can't actually feel it yet. So what I was thinking too, part of the best way of dealing with it is to start, uh, start a new routine, okay? Now, I'll use the example of exercise, but I want you to be very clear that it doesn't have to be exercise, okay? What you need to do is put up a sheet of A4 paper on your wall or the place that you see the most, your kitchen cupboard, and you put Monday through to Friday columns. And if you choose exercise, look there are so many youtube videos just pick just type in easy warm-ups and i'll find the one that we've posted before as well and just commit yourself to changing that one action and as you change that one action and you as the adult determine that you're going to change it and you have that accountability on your cupboard door next to your computer it helps you become stronger as who you are as an adult. And as you do that, it then makes it possible for you to begin identifying when the depression hits. Okay? All right. So I want you to do that this week. Keep yourself accountable for having that change because as we have that change, we're able to become more and more of who we are and be free and live our life in, I don't know, I don't like saying, you know, full of blessings and everything because we always have struggles, struggles, but we do, we are able to live our life in a manner that we can have our hearts filled with joy. Okay, have a great week and um, I'll be in and out of group this week and we'll also have another video coming up after this one as well. Okay, God bless.